It is absolutely bitter again. I had to dash off that hill, get onto the golf course and get down here out of the wind. So today's video, whatever happened to Max Fly? And if you're in America, you're probably wondering why on earth I'm saying that, because you can still buy them. We can't. Now, many years ago, I played with a vast variety of golf balls, whatever I found in the rough or in the ponds at Gloucester. Uh, the first ball that made me actually get my wallet out was a Wilson Staff, and I played that for four years. And the second ball that made me get my wallet out, and I'll spin you around so I can uh, make sure this is in focus, is this beastie, the Max Flight Revolution, Got a logo on multi layer 90. If I and this was uh, a large core ball with rubber band windings and a very soft cover. And I played this from whenever it came out to, um, to its demise when it was replaced by oh god, I can't find it. It was replaced by this. Now, this is a scruffy one that's come off a driving range bucket. It's the Maxfly A10, the first of the Plastic Fantastic. I don't know if it came out before the Pro V1, the same year as the original Pro V1. You remember that one which had 392 on it, meaning it had uh, 392 nipples, sorry, dimples. And uh, after that came after that came the Maxfly HHT, I think. And then they kind of like disappeared from our pro shops over here. You could still get the noodle, but you couldn't buy the premium ball. And they, they just disappeared and Pro V1 flooded the market, etc. Which then created all the other three piece plastic fantastic balls. And I always found that there was enough of the Pro V1s in the trees and in the wood and in the rough for me to not spend money. First time I really started spending money was about 2008 when I started buying lake balls off the internet. Pearl grade Pro V1s. Now I saw my Golf Spy report in 2019. It was, it was out in about February and it was testing all the premium balls and there was the Maxfly Tour Ball. And it featured uh, very, very well in all of the tests for length, direction, spin. It was way up there. Now, some of them were longer, but then they, the dispersion was worse. And those which were straighter, the, they weren't as far. So if you average out all the scores, the Maxfly Tour Ball was way up there. And I wish I could buy it, because I'd play it. Because I've always considered Maxfly to be considerably better than Titleist. That's just me. I always found that they were softer, they sounded better, they chipped better, they putted better, etc, etc. So I would actually buy them if I could. Now I had a route around on the internet and it seems that they are owned by Dick's Sporting Goods in America. Might be slightly wrong on that. If I am, I'm sorry. So I went on the Dick's Sporting Goods website and you can't get you can't access the website from the UK they offer the only want American customers so today I'm going to do a ball test let's pop pop that down because my arms getting tired trouble with being old isn't it so I got the revolution I got the a10 I've got one of my lake balls and I got a brand new box of pro V's so we're going to test them test in a variety of situations and uh, see which one comes out on top. Now logically in distance the 2019 ball, the you know the, the, the brand new Pro V1 is going to win everything isn't it? But we will see. Now there's one paragraph in the My Golf Spy test which, um, which was wrong. They mention lake balls, and you shouldn't mention you shouldn't use, use lake balls because the core is hydroscopic and absorbs water. Well, this thing's made of urethane. The cover is made of urethane. It's 
plastic. Urethane is used in the building industry as waterproofing. It's put in paint as waterproofing. I won four of my six singles knockouts with late balls. I shot 65 with late balls. I've broken par many times with late balls. Dear Golf Spy, my Golf Spy, when it comes to your little paragraph on late balls, you're talking complete bollocks. Anyway, let's get on the golf course and head towards our first test. Got a club on the ground, so I set up the same each time. I'm aiming well left because of the wind being off the left a little bit. And I just want to hit a block cut into the fairway. First one out of the, out of the pocket is the 2015 Lake Ball. Right, second one out of the pocket is the 2019 brand new ball. That one's beasted, so that one's going to be hard to beat. Next one out of the pocket is the Revolution. And the last one is the A10. So I think the first thing I've proven is I can't produce four decent swings in the winter. Who'd have, who'd have thought it, hey? So the A10 is short left. We'll count that one out of this one, but we will be doing more. Um, looks like the 2019 ball's got it so far. Right, this is very, very interesting. Here's the Revolution, which I didn't strike particularly well. A bit of a low ball flight. And if we go one, two, three, four, five, there's the 2019 ball and there is the 2015 lake ball which is barely a yard behind hmm interesting next test right second test is rescue off the deck randomize the balls in my pocket no tea peg involved just I pick the best lie I can find. So the first one out of the pocket is the 2015 Lake Ball. Second one is the Revolution. Really like that one. Third one out is the A10.
bloody enjoyed that one and the last out of the pocket is the uh, 2019 Pro-V1 Right, the balls, what do we have here? We have, that's the 2015 Lake Ball. That is the brand new Pro V1 and past them we have the Revolution with the logo on, which is dead level with the A10. Interesting. Right, 15th hole, we're going to do a full hole test here. Driver, second shot, third shot, putting. I'm just randomizing the balls and the first one out is the 2015 Lake Ball. The wind is down and out of the right, so I'm aiming a little bit right. I'm going to try and hit all four balls the same and hit a little draw on the wind. All right, second ball out, the MaxFly A10. Third ball out is the Revolution. Right edge of the fairway, but I enjoyed that one. And the last one now is the brand new Pro V1. So the two balls here are the Revolution and the Lake Ball and about eight yards in front we got the A10 and the 2019 ball. Let's wander across, see which one's won. I think there might be too much random in what the ball is landing on. So there's the 2019 that's beaten the A10 by about nine feet. There's the A10. Right, I've rolled forward to 195 yards to the middle of the green. In the winter, I'm going to hit my rescue. In the winter, I would expect this to be short, actually. But we'll see, uh, see if anyone gets there. First one out in the bag is the brand new Pro V1. Well, if anyone's got a chance, that one has. I'm not going to shot trace of this one. Next one is the A10.
little popped up, but it's going. Next one is the Revolution. Enjoyed that. And the last one is the lake ball. Four reasonable ones, slightly different ball flights because I'm sitting on a tuft because it's a cleaning place. Uh, the, the first one was a draw with the brand new Pro V1. It's gone to the left side of the fairway where it's probably a little firmer. So if anyone's on, it should be the brand new Pro V1. Right, I've just come over the brow of the hill. I'm still 124 yards away and we have one, two, three, Balls on the green, one on the left edge of the green. Well, I wasn't expecting that in the winter. Wow. So the new Pro V1, which I drew and I knew was longer because I'd drawn it and closed the face down. That's all the way at the back of the green. Found a pitch mark there, which was about 12 feet. So that's released about 12 feet. There is the Probably one late ball, which I didn't draw, and it's only about five feet behind it. Then we got the A10, and we got the Revolution. Have we got any pitch marks? There's one there, that'll be from the Revolution. The A10 was a lower flight, so yeah, there's there's the uh, yeah, there's the pitch mark from the A10, just short of the green. Can't see a pitch mark from the 2015 ball, but so that might have landed a little short as well. Well, the Revolution's the closest, and the next closest is the A10. Well, I never did. Let's move on. Right, let's get real here for a moment. I have tested my 2015 late balls against the brand new Pro V1 in the summer. And I'd say off the driver, the, um, yeah, off, off the driver, the difference in distance is about two and a half yards. No, really, I, I did it down 17, I hit four of each. I did it all the way around the golf course and it was about two and a half bloody yards. So a ball that costs four quid it's two and a half yards longer than a ball that cost a quid 50. And for all you people out there who say, oh, lake balls are no good, they fill up with water. Well, you're talking complete bollocks. What's uh, been satisfying today is the A10, which came out of a driving range machine and obviously been hit and abused an awful lot. Uh, it's just fine. When you think how often that ball's been hit, picked up by, mach by machine with metal blades, put through the washer, put into the machine, hit again, repeat, 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 repeat. And it is a 2002 ball, so it's, it's suffered quite badly. And it's just fine. <laughs> 